Hey guys, welcome back to the Scrap and Blind channel. This video, we're gonna go out, we're gonna do a little bit of dumpster diving. And then I wanna show you guys some things around the house that I've been meaning to show you guys for the past, I don't know, week or so. Some of them a little longer. I'm just now getting around to showing you guys, but I don't know, let's get into it. We've been pretty much striking out the came across a little bit of scrap metal. I ain't gonna fit mo much of it in our little car. But we figured we'd look around and see what kind of kind of goodies we got. There's a futon, a bunch of dishwashers. Get a couple of in hoods in the drawers though. A couple, little bit of scrap metal. Here, take that. So we had to come up to this town to get Lauren some uniforms for work. Figured we'd look at these dumpsters. It's uh, it's a town that we're not super familiar with, so figured we'd just look. But it looks like everything has already been picked up today. But we figured we'd take a look and we found a bunch of scrap metal on the outside of the dumpster. So I told her, let's go ahead, let's keep driving around these apartment complexes. And if there's stuff outside, then we'll get out and look. But that's the only way we're gonna stop. I'm pretty sure everything's been picked up. We'll see. I already went through a bunch of them, all been empty. We're gonna at least show you guys. Hey, what's that? That's oh, a lid to the dumpster. See there. It's all empty. Pretty much completely empty. All of them have been like that, like they got picked up this morning. So probably checked about 50 dumpsters, and they've all been picked up already. So. No luck. No luck. Nothing. Let's see here. There's some stuff out here, including a tiny, nah, tiny washing machine, a toilet. But we're not going to be able to get it, not in the little car. Which, that's fine. It's got water and stuff in it anyway. We'll be back up here in a couple days. Maybe it'll still be here. It's a little dresser. Oh, this is one of those recliners with the uh, the cord on it. But okay, we'll come back when we have the truck. Yeah. Saw this big old box. Pretty nice uh, headboard. Looks like king size tire it's the steel rim nothing special but these dumpsters are complete they're empty nothing in there nothing to get excited over for sure <clears throat> okay so we're back here at the house as far as like things that we pulled out of the trash it's all we got today like i said we probably checked 50 dumpsters and everything had been picked up so scrap metal that's all we got i think there is three of these little like the the drawers for your oven three of those and then four vena hoods which i don't know this stuff may resell I, I don't know the apartment complex had to have thrown them out for some reason so i'm not even gonna bother with it going straight to the scrap pile we'll take out um clip up these wires um there's probably a tiny 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 motor that's inside that runs that fan but other than these wires, I think I'm just going to scrap it all just like it is. Also been meaning to show you guys a couple of things. Um, a while back, like three or four or five videos ago, we picked up this um, tackle box. And you know, I don't remember what was in there, if anything. Okay, so there's a worm. There's a couple of things in here. 
Oh, these always come in handy. What big guy? Couple of little bitty tiny bobbers. A little fishy. I want Hold on, because I don't know if this what let me clean some of this stuff off for you. Mess with it. Just a few little miscellaneous fishing things, some little jigs and hooks and stuff like that. That's not too bad. Some free fishing stuff and a little tiny tackle box. Might save that for Lucas. It's got a little spot for the lock. Also, in that same video, we picked up a box that had some mystery stuff in it. And this was one of the items that was in there. Kind of cool. It's a little tiny sewing machine. Lauren actually wanted these, well, wanted one of these a long time ago, but I don't know. I don't even know if it works, but. What's that? It's that little tiny uh, sewing, machine. sewing machine that we found a long, long time ago. Are you okay? Yeah. What? I, I saw that. Now, I'm going to show you guys a few things that we got from the thrift store a couple days ago. First off, um, Lauren's dad has been, and mom has been, um, volunteering at the thrift store that we donate all of our stuff to. And he brought us all these Nerf guns for Lucas. There's a, there's a bunch of them. There's a whole box of them. They don't sell gun toys at the thrift store because they say it promotes a... Uh, a, a negative message so church thrift store but i mean they're just nerf guns these are actually um let me see yeah these are actually laser tag guns so but anyway there's some of that so also we uh just went and picked up lucas's shirt lauren had his shirt made um for lucas's birthday he's turning four years old you guys know he's into dinosaurs <laughs> There it is. Hopefully yeah, that's... His birthday's in... A week two... But... Week and a half. About, yeah, about ten days. <laughs> <laughs> if any of you guys would like to send Lucas anything for his birthday, I'll put the address up on the screen. It's the 24th. <laughs> if not, if, it, if you don't get it on the screen, it's always in the About Me part of our page. Our carpet. <laughs> Another thing here is our carpet. I know you guys have all seen it already. Um, but Lauren has went over it with the carpet cleaner about three or four times, so. There it is. It turned out pretty good. Yeah, it's kind of weird. There's a spot right in the middle of the floor where the carpet's like still real thick. And then all around the outside, the perimeter, it's all like kind of worn down, <clears throat> you know, real thin. But they probably had a coffee table or anything. Most likely, yeah. But I mean, it's still in good shape and it's massive. That's what we want. So we know now the one we had before was like an eight by six, small, probably eight probably. by six. And it was a lot, lot smaller than this one. So now we know that if we want to get another rug, this is the size that we actually do want. Cause this living room all the way into the dining room and excuse the mess is all, um, it's all hardwood. We have no carpet in this entire home. So, and we just got back from the grocery store. It was just kind of cool because this particular rug matched Lauren's curtains, her couch cushions, my chair, our picture. It just kind of matched everything. It was just perfect. perfect. So it was kind of neat. Another item that we got from the thrift store. We needed a house phone terribly. Our other one, you couldn't hear anything. You had to put it on speaker. And then even then it was kind of hit or miss. So we got this little house phone here. Wait, a dollar for it? Um, yeah. yeah, one dollar. And there was two of them. There's two handsets, so it works. Yeah, it works out perfectly. And these are these are not super expensive at the store, but I mean, I would definitely rather pay a dollar than the full. The no, they're more. They're probably thirty bucks. So other than some toys that we picked up from the thrift store, Lucas got. A monster truck and an airplane. I think you guys already saw his little airplane. We got Kane a fox. Uh, Kane from Curbside Junkies, my brother's channel. The phone. And I also got this. I've got a 
I just I love these like handmade walking sticks or canes or whatever you want to call them. They're cool. They're very cool. You know, somebody took the time to find this particular style of stick out in the woods or wherever. And I'm not exactly sure what they treated this one with. I've got one that my brother made me. I'll actually, I'll show you guys that one. Um, if you go grab it real quick. Um, he treated the one that he made me for, it was, he made it for me three or four years ago, maybe longer. And he used a uh, limp seed oil, but he made that for me. And, and then I found this one at the thrift store. I don't know. I just love these, these sticks. And here's the one that he made me stand over there. Mm -hmm. You can see how tall it is. It's Lauren's like five, two, and it's almost as tall as she is. Probably five feet tall, maybe yeah. four feet. You guys went on that camping trip. Oh gosh. We went, yeah, we went on a camping trip one time and there was a, a, an area that we had to cross to get to our campsite and it was, it was icy. It was really, really cold and uh, it was right by the river. So it was a cliff on one side. Like um, over here was a cliff, and then here's the the uh, in the bank that was slanted. It was all rock, and it was frozen solid. And then on this side down here was the water. Yep. So and it was about probably from where I'm standing right here to that wall was how far we had to cross. Now if you were careful, you could make it across really easily. But I was last, and I had this stick with me, and as we were crossing i started to slide luckily i had this stick because i reached up like that and i gave it to adam and he pulled me across <laughs> yep. so that was five years ago Dang. wow it was long ago. so not only is it a cool stick it actually saved me probably didn't save my life but it saved me from a miserable camping trip <laughs> okay and here's that game that we found um last week maybe and I, I explained to you guys how much Lucas loves dinosaurs. So when we found this game, um, it was just, it made it that much cooler that it was this game. Um, we went and bought a charger and it was missing a stylus. So we bought a charger and a stylus for it. Check this out here. Maybe. Maybe it's not charged up enough. Oh, there it goes works perfectly um it's touch screen here it's a little advanced for lucas honestly i think we can play some other games but he's super super smart and he learns i mean really fast so this is just too cool it's it just the fact that for one it was a game boy he likes playing video games especially when it's like so cold outside it's like it was warm this morning, but it's already or, uh, this afternoon, but it's already back down to probably 45 degrees, 50, and which it's real wet. Yeah, and everything's just super wet. So playing video games is okay. He's in there, so he can't hear me. But anyway, that's just I was going to show you guys that this actually worked. And that's going to be his birthday present. Yeah, the only oh. The only thing that um, kind of that's not that great about it is I need to get him some headphones because the sound is kind of low on this. So I don't know if that's just how they are or not, but we need to get him get him a pair of headphones. Okay, okay guys, that's what we're gonna do. It. Thanks so much to hang out with us.